Alright, so the entrance for this aerial that we call the hip flip <laughs> looks like this. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. So leaders, you have four steps starting with the back step on your left foot. So I lead the follower into back step, back, step. Next step I put in front, boom, and I step in with my right behind her. Okay? Important now is to try to put your butt under her butt. <laughs> All right, so you can see that I'm doing less steps. I'm going one, two, three, four. So uh, my four is just a hold. Um, what's really important now for you followers is that you are strong and standing straight up. Ah, uh, ah, uh, even though he's coming in here and angling, uh, you need to be really strong to just stand straight up and down. Okay, so leaders, you want to put your right hand or right arm over her stomach, boom, like this. Your left arm you kind of hold like this. There's no tension an or anything in this one. It's just holding here. Okay? Yeah. And what is really important for you leaders is that you get your butt far in as well. Um, let's see, is this a good angle? Ah, uh, oh, ah, uh, boom. That he gets very far, far in on my butt. Yes. Yeah? Okay. So once you're going to start to practice the flip, you're just going to bend her up, okay? From this position, leaders, you're just going to bend forward. Boom. We show this direction too. We have one, two, three, four, bend. So very important, don't do this, boom, because even in this one, we don't want height. We just want it to go immediately down into the ground. Okay, so once here, just bend your upper body down, boom. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's one of these bending aerials again. So I'm just standing strong and try to react on his on his bend forward and just pull my legs up rather than jumping. So it's just steady, steady, steady. When this starts to happen, you bring your legs with you. So actually, this one you can practice really slow and safe. So. You can actually practice it without spotters from the beginning, because you can do it really, really slow. We're going to try to show it. One, two, three, four. Start to bend, and down. Yeah? When it's going this slow, just to keep myself safe, I'm kind of clinching on to his arm. But this is a bad habit that we should get rid of as soon as possible. But just now, when it's going really slow, that is kind of my my safety. But when it's going faster later, it's just going to be, I'm just going to have this, this without weight, no holding on or anything. It's just they're resting. So the slow one from this direction we have one, two, three, four, bend. <laughs> uh, so what can happen? in the beginning when you're doing this aerial is that you get stuck on each other and you're kind of fini finishing the aerial something like this and you're just stuck. With time, with some more practice, when you can give a bit more energy and power to it, it will end up to actually getting to a point out here. Uh, but it's just about getting more confident and giving more power into, into the flip itself that will make me land further away. So that's a common mistake that probably will happen, but just keep on doing it and try to get more energy into it and it will solve itself.